Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick knife video for you. You'll see the rest of this video in a second, but I wanted to show you this by way of introduction. Here is my Benchmade Crooked River as it currently stands. Carbon fiber clip, carbon fiber backspacer, forged carbon fiber on the backspacer and the scales, by the way, and the pivot collars. And uh, I just switched this around and I wanted to show it to you. I also ordered this blue backspacer. I'm not sure which one I'm ultimately gonna settle on. The blue looks pretty nice as well. So I'll switch that out. I won't put it on this video, but I'll switch that out and put some pics up on Instagram and let people decide what they like the best. For now though, uh, I'm gonna roll in the video of me taking the orange clip, which is sitting right here, out of this knife. I wanted to do a little bit of an intro just to show you kind of what's where we're going with that video. Bear with me, it's probably a little painful because there's a couple times where I run into some hiccups. Uh, huge thanks to Rogue Bladeworks for doing a great job with this. And, you know, they seem to be consistently doing a really, really good job with everything they do. Uh, there have been some complaints about wait time, but honestly, uh, I don't mind waiting a little bit when something comes out as good as they tend to get things coming out. So while there is a bit of an issue with wait time there, uh, I think that's just, uh, you know, some growing pains and they'll get that worked out. In fact, even this time it was better. Uh, the, the weight on the backspacer was shorter than the weight for the scales. So, uh, and you know, you may have luck of the draw and just order it exactly the right time. So thanks a lot to Rogue Bladeworks. You did a great job with this. I'm super impressed with uh, the upgrades and all the stuff that you're doing for a number of different bench maids. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the disassembly video here. Hey YouTube, Kevin Cleary here with a quick little update video for you. Today, I've got not a knife in front of us, but a couple little parts here. So here you can see a carbon fiber pocket clip. Here is a G10 blue backspacer. Here is a carbon fiber, hold on, let's see, there we go. Backspacer. And there's a couple little screws over there as well. Now, for those of you who know and who've been around the channel for a while, you guys already know what this is for. This stuff is for my Benchmade Crooked River. We have previously done the Rogue Bladeworks scales here. And we're just going to switch out this backspacer. And since it's here, we may as well try the pocket clip as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the pocket clip permanently, but we'll go ahead and try it out. So uh, I've got the appropriate Torx bit already here. This is a T6. And I'm just going to loosen these screws off. Now, one of the things, guys, that I had trouble with the last time was getting these little spacers out. So, wow, that one's really tight. Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try to do is loosen the screw off on this side and then just push it through. My goodness. Can't believe how tight that is. Um, what have I got that I can pound with just a little? Hold on, I'm just gonna pause this for a second and go and see what I can do about this one second back. The, this one right here is so unbelievably tight that I'm having a really hard time getting it out of that hole. So give me one second. Okay, so I was able to tap that out. You can see just enough there, I think with, uh, the little hammerish sort of end here on the Leatherman. So let's take the rest of this screw out. There we go. So there's our two screws that go on these rods. And I'm just gonna, since I've got the Leatherman here, use it to just take these guys out. Hopefully the other one's just as easy. Ow, no it's not. There we go. So now we've got those two guys popped out of there. So there is the original Benchmade backspacer. And let's just slide the new carbon fiber backspacer right in. See it there. Hold on. Now notice these are, I'll just kind of, there you go. You can see this is a D shape. So you've got to match it in the hole the way that it's supposed to go. There we 
There we go. Okay, that gets it started. So I'm just gonna slowly, carefully sort of, <laughs> whoops, work away at this. Okay, so we've got one through, just working on the other one. There we go. Okay, so those guys are popped through there. Drop our screws back in. Get the T6 going here again. That one's pulling through nicely. Let's just see. Yeah, and that one's going to come in as well. There we go. So we now have the carbon fiber backspacer in there. Now let's go ahead and pop the clip off here. And we'll switch that out for the carbon fiber. Put that down. Okay, so all of this stuff is from Rogue Blade Works. And again, there was a little bit of a wait, but again, they have done such a great job and it does drop right in that it's sort of, one of those situations where, you know, if you're waiting for something that's worth the wait, then you don't mind so much. And I've got to say that seems to be kind of the case here. Now, it, it may be luck of the draw. You know, I ordered these pretty much right away when they were available. Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, and because I ordered them so quickly, I did have to wait a little bit. And by the way, they've supplied longer screws here because of the greater distance because of the thickness of the replacement clip. So just wiggle that around a little bit and see how we can do. Really? Hold on guys, I'm gonna take this off camera for one second and see why I can't get those to thread. That's weird. All right, so these are not wanting to thread for me. I'm just gonna do a little test. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. The uh, lack of polish on this video is a little disturbing, but... Oh, really? Hold on. <laughs> That's just me being completely unobservant. There we go. So now we have the forged carbon fiber pivot collar, scale, pocket clip and backspacer. 
Now I've also got the blue, so we'll try it uh, with the blue as well and see how that looks. Uh, this does put me up to three different clip options for this. I've got this clip. I also have a bent over deep carry clip at the house. So I'll probably give them all a try and see which one I like the best. Thanks for checking this out. And as I say, I will post pictures with this guy on Instagram. So I'll switch those out again. And uh, I'll also give this a little carry and see what I think of it. Thanks for bearing with me. I know that was a little bit painful, but uh, I thought I would go ahead and let you see the process there. By the way, that is a thing. Benchmade's, you know, it's sort of like taking apart a Chris Reeve. They are very tightly made, very precision knives. And because of that, every part really, really fits tight. And that was no exception here. I actually did have a bit of a struggle there, as you saw, getting the sleeve to kind of fit through there. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. That is how my Crooked River looks now. And I'm going to put this in my pocket right now. And I'll go over on Instagram and post some pics and tell you how it fits in the pocket. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you soon.